basically every level of education is voted on. And from what I know, it doesn't conflict with any midterms or or finals weeks. It's not on the spring break. So why should it? I just want to remind everyone that uh, the gathering and meeting up to, to fight back against education, it's not just something going on at, of course, City College. Uh, it's, it's statewide. Uh, I attended a, two weeks ago a statewide meeting to organize on every campus. So this is, this is a, a big movement, and uh, we're just lucky enough uh, to, to be a part of it right now to make sure education for ourselves and future children future uh, We're going to go into discussion right now. We're kind of going to try to guide you into the So, <laughs> no, so what we decided doing, this is going to be short, I was just going to catch people up on what has been happening and what we're doing here and what the General Assembly means, and then the fees is going to also talk some about the cut specifically for City College. But I think the General Assembly is founded on the idea that those who are actually being affected by the cuts, and by that I mean the students, by that I mean the teachers, by that I mean staff, I actually, I work at this school, I do take a class, but I work primarily here. <laughs> we are the ones that actually have the power to stop the cuts, and we are the ones that actually have the interest in stopping the cuts. And I think we have to only, we can only rely on ourselves to actually be the force that's going to stop the cuts. And that's why we're here, uniting students, faculty, and staff together to actually start to organize. I think organizing that this country has not seen in many years. And I think we, we started this General Assembly here at City College because we saw the one day strike that happened at UC Berkeley and, and the UCs around the, the state on uh, September 24th. They brought 5,000 people out that day on that campus and they went marching around. You can see the videos online, it's very inspiring. And we said, some of us said here, you know what, we can do the same thing. So we got together, we put flyers up and called people to have a General Assembly here. Um, Deborah and Josh, I don't know if they're, Deborah's here, but Josh, they were, you know, talking at the front, we showed a great video about what happened, and people said, you know what, we want to do the same thing. And, um, and it, it's been great. People saw that we organized this, um, this action today. But what's really inspiring is, is the fact that we are part of a larger movement. It's not just here at City College. Uh, a lot of us went to a, a conference on October 24th. Um, called for by the people of Berkeley, but it had 800 people from the CSU, up and down the state, UCs, K-12. There was even a, a school teacher from LA that was there. Um, and they, we came out of that conference with the idea that we want a massive statewide action on March 4th. We want to shut this down. And we actually chose that date specifically so it, it wouldn't land on midterm dates. Um, that's why it isn't on March 11th, for instance, because there are midterms around that time. So that's, and it's not during spring break. So that's what happened, and um, and what I want to add to that. UCLA Board of Regents is being shut down right now, by the way, and there were rallies at SF State. Uh, Berkeley is being shut down. Last uh, week there was a sit-in at the library at UC Santa Cruz to save it from being closed. Um, all across the state these things are happening, and so we're just a part of that, and we need to come up with our demands for this campus. Um, f for how we're going to get fees to be rolled back and, and how we're going to do that. And so that's... I the libraries from the top priority. The libraries provide vital resources for 4 people to get to jobs. If we're being able to educate themselves when they can't afford to go to school. Yeah, and so I, I think uh, Jordan has an uh, agenda that we might be like coming up with on what we want to do as next steps. Uh, uh, how we think we can build towards, because it was great today, we had like, what, like 300 people, 200, 400, 500, I don't know. But uh, to shut this campus down on March 4th, we're going to have to do a lot more work and it's going to take all of us being a part of that uh, to make that happen. And so I think Jordan's got some uh, yes. ideas. We, uh, we do have an agenda and uh, we want to have a little time for discussion and you know, try to answer Right. Right. So budget cuts specifically.